Hi, my name is John McBean with Kitbox Aircraft. I'm here to talk today about the uh, Airmaster propeller. Kitbox has been in business since 1984. We've got 31 year history building basically backcountry stole type airplanes. And uh, our relationship with Airmaster has become very, very prominent. And uh, we're very happy with the performance of the prop in the backcountry and the canyons that we fly in in Idaho. The, uh, the ability to have the constant speed version of the propeller adds in safety in every environment that we can operate in, especially when you're in a busy workload and approach to a, an airstrip that has no go around and very short strip. It's also very advantageous on departure from those same strips where you have high mountain canyons to climb out of uh, and you need the actual best performance you can get out of the engine. The, uh, one of the reasons we went with the Airmaster propeller is we were very impressed with the engineering that was involved behind it, the company that supports it, and the uh, propeller options that we have available. The uh, Whirlwind prop is the one that we choose as, as our choice for our aircraft because we do prefer the performance and the looks that that, that gives, although there's various uh, propeller blades that are available with the propeller. What I'd like to reiterate about the propeller constant speed system is the engineering behind the hub. The last thing you want is to have to worry about the reliability and the dependability of the propeller system in front of you. Having an issue with that could be detrimental in every flight condition, especially when you're in the bottom of a canyon with very few options. The engineering behind the propeller is very impressive. The hub system, it just gives you a high level of confidence that the airplane is going to, or the, the propeller system is going to stick with you um, in all conditions, even if you happen to have an issue in the backcountry where it may not be ideal and you may have a prop strike or something like that, but you're not going to lose a blade. We're often asked what's the advantage of a constant speed prop on a more of a backcountry airplane that's somewhat slow, low and slow type flying. And, and really that question gets real dynamic because you actually max, maximize the performance of your aircraft in every flight realm. So, for example, we take off out of, out of our home field in Homedale, Idaho, and we want to fly into the backcountry. Well, Homedale is a 2,200-foot strip. Let's say we're going into Lower Loon, which is roughly a 600-foot strip. So we can actually take advantage of the constant speed by turning to a cruise setting, getting there a little bit quicker than we would if it was set for a climb setting, which is what we're going to need while we're sitting at Lower Loon or going into Lower Loon. It also helps by the flat pitch um, of the constant speed prop when we're in the descent as a drag. So it helps us get into that shorter strip into the backcountry with the confidence that we can take full advantage of the horsepower and the engine RPM performance for taking back off out of that short strip in the backcountry and then getting home in, an, in, in a reasonable amount of time by readjusting back to cruise to maximize the forward speed of the aircraft. So we get basically a, air, a prop or propeller system that we can maximize our takeoff performance by getting full development of RPM and horsepower and yet maximize our cruise performance of the airplane by resetting the pitch for more of a cruise setting. Unlike a fixed pitch prop or even a ground adjustable where it will take you 30 minutes or 45 minutes to be able to adjust that prop, you don't have to do that. We've talked about some of the benefits of the constant speed prop on the kit box. Let's take a few minutes and go over some of the operational characteristics that Airmaster has made so simple for the pilot. Here we are in the cockpit of the kit box, and I want to introduce you to the controller that Airmaster has brilliantly designed into making it very simple for the pilot to control. Instead of adjusting your RPM with throttle, it is a constant speed prop. There's a simple controller in the panel, and you basically have four settings. You have a takeoff setting, climb setting, cruise setting, and a hold. We'll go over all those here in a minute. But if you're in the takeoff setting, basically what it will do is maintain maximum rated RPM that is already pre-programmed into the system. So Airmaster is programmed into the system for the given engine, which is in this case the Rotax, a maximum RPM for performance takeoff, which would be 5,750 RPM. 5,800 is red line, so they give us a little bit of a buffer there. So it will automatically adjust the pitch setting of the propeller to maintain that RPM. When you go to full throttle, it's going to adjust the pitch accordingly. When you climb out, it's going to adjust the pitch accordingly to maintain that RPM. Next, as you clear your 50-foot obstacle at the end of the runway, we're going to select the climb setting. So we simply select from takeoff to climb, which will maintain rated horsepower, rated RPM. That'll maintain 5400 RP or 5450 on RPM for the rem remainder of our climb. Now, if we level off and we're going somewhere, we're heading on our cross country, we simply select cruise. And now we'll go to the cruise RPM setting. It's 
programmed at the factory at a 5,000 RPM cruise setting. Those are all very advantageous. Now we come in for a landing. We simply start our descent. We go back to select climb. That'll bring us back to our rated RPM, which was 5450. We come in on the final approach area. We go back to takeoff. That will give us our go-around power should we need it. So it's going to get our maximum performance power for takeoff as we need it. Now I told you I'd tell you about the force setting, which is a hold. And the hold setting is typically used in an environment where we might, oh, let's say we're just out kind of playing around and we're not really at any given cruise or takeoff performance or anything like that. We're just kind of lumbering with the doors open, enjoying the farmlands and looking around. So we select hold and there's a toggle switch that allows us to select an RPM that we can set in the controller and it will hold that RPM as best it can for our throttle position as we're flying. It's very simple and then as we turn around again and start to head back for home we go back up to cruise, we get our cruise power or we want to climb out of the hole that we've sunk into, we go back to takeoff, we take off, climb to altitude, go to cruise, on our way back to the homeland uh, or home field as the case may be and uh, follow the same procedures back in. It's a very simple controller, it adds in safety and uh, Airmaster has just done a fabulous job developing and engineering this system.